Who will be the last card standing? Entry open to all Twitch and Patreon subscribers. Details at discord.gg slash farfa. Oh my god! Chain burn versus True Draco. Okay then. I'm gonna go Pot of D and perform a tribute Shokan of Majesty Maiden and pass it up. All right, what do we got here? We've got a bunch of set cards. Let's go. Set five. If burn tops, I don't even know how you hit burn. To the underworld. I honestly again. don't know. Twenty months. To Battle phase. Magic burn. cylinder Let and chain secret blast. Why chain now? Why are you using Secret Blast now? Chain Ceasefire? Oh, you're trying to get a big fat Chain Strike! How much damage is this? 24. Ceasefire, 1,000. Resolves to get a search. Burns for 15. And Cylinders for 23. To the My brother, you almost OTK'd your opponent. Dimension Wall! Oh! True King Return, you're gonna Tribute Summon over your monster here. I think you can do this during the battle phase, right? Wait, isn't this main phase only to tribute summon? Pause champ. No! <laughs> Chain burn! <laughs> Taking down True Draco in one battle phase! We really took. Bro, this is turning into jank, man. Oh my god. It's week three and we're playing G Golem. That's kind of really sad, to tell you the truth. That's actually kind of sad. All right, let's see. We've got sign up mining, a code exporter. Uh-huh, okay. All right, there's uh, there's our first Eldritch opponent. We're probably expecting this deck to have a good showing this week. All right, Lady Debug. Is this a one-card combo? Let's find out. We're going to activate the effect here to search for Microcoder. Linking both of those away into a regular old code talker. Activating the code deck. And now we're going to do some link climbing from the hand. And we're going to summon the code talker, Heat Soul. Activating the effect of the code deck here. And the exporter. I think exporter sends a card. And we're also going to do draw a card. I don't know why we're drawing. Might as well deck then first. Draws into a copy of uh, G Golem Rock Jammer Guy. Yep. And we're also going to add Degrade Buster by banishing two to link up into Splash Mage. Splash Mage effect brings back Degrade Buster. And then we're going to go into Trans Rights Talker, activating the Kodak here, adding an Earth Monster that's Dot Scraper. And then G Rock Hammer ditches the Dot Scraper uh, to. Uh, it just pitches a card? Okay. Into Code Talker Inverted. Code Talker Inverted can special summon a Cybers monster from the hand. I think this is how we're getting into the G Golem plays now. Adds a copy of Balancer Lord. And special summoning the Balancer Lord. Activating the effect of the Balancer Lord to normal summon the G Golem Rock Hammer. Special summoning two G Golem token. Three G Golem tokens. Into G Golem Stubborn Rock Guy. Into Invalid Dolmen. And this discards a cyber to draw a card. Gets the Pebble Dog. Okay. X Code Talker. As summoned here, blocks an opponent's zone. We're playing Cash Tira. Activates the codec again, going through all of the attributes. Searching for a copy of Parallel Exceed. Not bad. All right. And then links away into Firewall Dragon. Special summons Exceed from the hand now into the zone that Firewall points to. Links those away into G Golem Crystal Heart. Firewall Dragon Specials Bevel Dog! Oh my god, it's like 2018 all over again. I'm getting PTSD here. Crystal Heart brings back the stubborn Meneer. Meneer adds back the Pebble Dog from the grave to the hand and sets past it. No, we did, ec we did extra link! How did we not extra link? Oh no! <laughs> well, okay, let's see what Eldlitch does against this full field here. How'd you not actually have extra link? That's crazy. You know, this whole field is irrelevant. You activate Call by the Grave on Eldritch the Golden Lord. GG. Your field could literally just be Firewall Pass and you'd probably win. This doesn't matter. 
<laughs> oh my god. Okay. All right. Anyway, uh, Eldritch sends itself for cost to send. We're gonna chain, negate the call, uh, negate and banish the Eldritch. Gonna set a bunch of cards here, and I think we have game on field if we just attack. Don't do anything drastic now. Don't do anything silly. Activate the Dolmen here. Discard a card to draw. Gets another Balancer Lord. Pebble Dog draws a Gravity Balance. Oh no! What are you doing? <laughs> You're playing into. Why are you doing this? Oh, Torrential Tribute negated by Lingaribo. Chain Torrential Tribute. Why are you doing this? All you had to do was attack. Chain Firewall Dragon. Targeting the uh, Crystal Heart in the graveyard to return it to the hand, I think. Yeah, puts it back into the extra deck. Destroying the entire field. All you had to do was go battle phase. All right, what can we do next? We got Dolman activating in the graveyard, which apparently lets you normal summon the uh, Balancer Lord, which gives you an extra normal summon. Gonna go Gravity Balance. That's just Soul Charge for two Pebble Dogs. All right, okay. And then we're gonna link into G Golem Crystal Heart. Or there's no way we're gonna do 8,000, surely, right? Brings back the G Golem Meneer. Meneer effect can bring back the uh, Rock Hammer Man. Linking all those three or away into G Golem Dignified Trilatron. Declares an attack here. Special summons Wakero to Chump Lock. Does piercing damage regardless. And attacks again for 38. Gives him a little kiss with the crystal heart and passes over. Gravity Bounce destroys the Pebble Dog in the end phase here. All right, this is kind of uh, kind of rough here, actually. Wait, why can I'm what? Why can't we use the? Why is this first Eldland permanently negated? If this Colin card is destroyed, negate the effects of all face-up cards your opponent controls. Wow! You Golem Dolman kind of coming in hot here. Okay. Uh, we're gonna go and next turn a special summon Eldest the Golden Lord. And that's not gonna do much against our piercing Trilatron. Attacks for a thousand. Attacks again for 38. Do we have it? Yes, sir, we do. Uh, kind of code talker G Golems coming in clutch there. What a freaking duel. What a game. Holy crap, that was amazing. How do you play heroes without Mast and Destiny heroes? The heroes topped like two weeks ago, but we didn't want to ban every single hero card. There's like 300 cards, so. You can still play Elemental Heroes and Neo Spatians. Let's see what this does. We're gonna go uh, Hero Lives, Special Summoning Stratos. What do you search with Stratos? We're searching Prisma. Okay, Elemental Hero Prisma, revealing a Aqua Neos, dumping Aqua Dolphin. EN Shuffle. Shuffle Shuffle summons the Neos Spirit. Activates effect here to add instant contact. Tags himself out for Vanilla Neos. Into extra hero. I don't think we banned extra heroes. That's not a destiny hero or a masked hero, technically. So, Infernal Deceiver. We're going to activate Instant Contact. Special summoning Sunrise. Sunrise adds Miracle Fusion. What do you do with this? Oh my god, it doesn't do anything. <laughs> Favorite Contact. Cycles back like five monsters. What the hell? What are you summoning here? To special out elemental hero Cosmoneos. Must first be special summoned by shoveling the materials into the deck. If this card is special summoned from the extra, you can activate this effect for the rest of this turn. Your opponent cannot activate cards. Also, cards your opponent controls cannot activate their effects. Your opponent cannot activate cards or effects in response to this card's activation. Oh my god. Why have we not been doing this the whole time? Why have we not been doing this the whole time? All right. We just turn skip here. And next up, we've got Stratos pop a back row, battle phase, Stratos attack, sunrise destroys a monster, and that is just gonna be game? <laughs> Are we gonna have to ban Neos cards this week? It's only week three, and we're gonna have to ban Neos? Don't let this top. Do not let this top. All right, what do we got here? Our opponent is playing Scrap Machine. All right, we got Scrap Factory activating here. Scrap Raptor adds a copy of Scrap Recycler. Factory is going to special summon Recycler from the deck. Oh my. And the Fortress. Elmer summons the other Scrap Recycler. Sends a Citadel. Link summon into Scrap Wyvern. All right. Very cool. Brings back the Scrap uh, Recycler here and destroys it, triggering the Wyvern to special summon a Golem from the deck as well as triggering the Citadel. My god, Sylvan Spieler, are you going to get scraps banned? Are you going to single-handedly be responsible for the reason that scraps are banned? Who would have thought that we would reach a point in life where scraps deserve to be put on a ban list? Gonna send the World Crown here, gonna go into Lib. We now control the World Legacy in the graveyard, get to set the suck here. And now we're gonna suck back the Golem. 
from the graveyard. And Golem gets to do this again. Yep, summon back the Recycler. Activating for the fourth time this turn. I'm going to take a dump for a Jet Synchron. And goes into Barricade Borger. And we've seen him do this before. It's a Mecha Phantom Beast Aurorodon. Aurorodon effect. Special summoning three tokens. Monka W. This card should have been banned, right? Tribute itself and a token. Special summoning O Lion. Synchroing with this for a shooting riser dragon. Going to send snow from the deck to the grave, as well as summoning another token out to the field with the old lion grave effect. Still chugga 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 chugging along here. Let's go. Jet Synchron is our tuner of choice. We're discarding to special summon it from the graveyard. And that is going to be Pupid, Pupid Pitch to increase the level. 5 plus 3 is Borolode Savage Dragon. Isn't Borlo technically banned? Or th this does not want mention rockets, technically. You're so close. Rockets are banned, but so close. You know, I blame Konami for this. It is what it is. All right. Borlo Savage Dragon equips the Oridon here. Cupid Pitch gets a search for Hop Your Squadron. And now we're going to go and use a Radiator. Special summoning himself here and passing up. I don't know why we did that last step, but I'm sure it's there for a reason. All right. Holy. That's a big droplet there. Monster Reborn target with the snow here to force it out. That's not ideal, actually. Oh, droplet sending four cards. Is this how you win this? Four cards sent with droplet to negate Savage Citadel and Shooting Riser. So now we can't get the snow in the graveyard by synchroing with the um, Shooting Riser. And you've bricked the Hop Ear Squadron in the hand since we cannot special summon it. So now we can just, we're going to just play a little bit of the game here. We're going to special summon with Luna Light Tiger from the graveyard, bringing back Yellow Martin, overlaying into the Tiger King. Tiger King effect going to negate the rest of the field, as well as getting a Tenki from the deck to the hand. That's going to be another copy of Tiger. Activating the effect of Tiger King. Negate. Bring back the Yellow Martin, bouncing the Tiger here. Reactivating the Tiger. Tiger effect, revive back Kaleido Chick. Kaleido Chick going to activate the effect here to send Emerald Bird. Overlaying both into four strikes now. For strict effect is going to search for a Singing Lanius. We are indeed going to get Singing Lanius. Special summoning the Singing Lanius. Link Shokan into Y Strix, getting that Zephyros. Zephyros special out the deck here. There's a lot of monsters to plow through still. Let's see how we're actually going to clear all of this and do 8,000 damage. Raiders Knight into who, Megalol? No way. Oh, okay. I was expecting Arc Rebellion Dragon. Never mind. Okay, Y Strix set Shave Force. Shave Force effect. Bring back four Strix into Cyber Dragon Infinity. <laughs> Cyber Dragon Infinity. Okay, all right. Zephyros, revive itself. Special summon back. Bring back to use the Tiger for like the sixth time this turn. Special summon an Emerald Bird, overlaying into Abyss Dweller. All right, got to turn off that snow for the turn here. And Cyber Dragon going to give the suck to the snow. Got to love to see it. Blaze Falcon effect. What does this do? Oh, <laughs> it's Raigeki. <laughs> That's why we had to make the Infinity and the Dweller to turn off any graveyard effects before we ride Geki the field and attack for game. Wow, what a duel. What, a, what an incredible duel. All right, let's go. Here we go. All right, what do we got here? We got Junk Converter. I'm gonna use Small World on the Junk Converter. And the Doppel Warrior? Doesn't this card just search it? Discard this and a tuner. Oh, lucky. All right, well. Gonna fill up the graveyard here. Gonna go normal summon Junk Synchron. Hope your opponent does not have Imperm or Valor. Yeah, just sometimes you just gotta pray. Using the Junk Converter to chain block the speeder here brings back the Junk Synchron speeder. Special summons Junk Synchron, Flower Synchron, Junk Synchron, and a Stardust Synchron. I think Stardust Illumination from the deck here sends Stardust Trail. And now Stardust Illumination activates in the graveyard here to banish to manipulate the level. We're gonna go into Crystal Wing Synchron Dragon. Attributing a monster to special summon the Stardust Synchron from the graveyard here. Activate Trail. And that's going to Synchro into Papega Ruler. Papega. Papega Ruler. Activating the effect here to dig for... Nothing. Oh, gets a Doppel Warrior, you sneaky little bitch. You sneaky little bitch. All right, there's Bar on the floor here. Floor Synchron is apparently does something, but we're not going to know what it is. Special summons a monster from the hand. Is that a Doppel Warrior? Special from the hand, from the floor. Okay, Metal Marcher brings back this. And Doppel Warrior triggers to special summon two tokens here. Get two tokens. That's some free Synchron fodder. And we're bringing back a Tuner. Okay, still a long way to go in terms of climbing. That's a Formula Synchron. 
to draw a card. That's another droplet. And we're going to go Herald of the Arc Light. Junk Synchron effect activates in the graveyard. Jet Synchron. Jet, jet, junk, jet, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, I know. There's like a million freaking Synchrons. Into Hot Red Dragon Archfiend Abyss set to and pass. All right. What's our opponent going to do here? Well, they're going to start off with... The ruler is no more. Normal summon Lamia. Special summon Griffin. Gilgamesh. Into Droplet. <laughs> Negate. Why not send the red reboot? I guess you want to hold it for next turn, potentially. Activate the scale here of Rage King Zero. Scale up the Ragnarok. Pendulum summon one. Discard to draw. Gets a Swirl Slime. Okay, we're cooking. Banishing from the Vice Typhoon. Special summoning out High King Genghis. Link into another Gilgamesh. Figuring the High King Genghis, bringing back Gilgamesh. Making Machina X. And Battle Phase, not really enough to do anything here. We can't deal with the field. It's just too many big Synchrons. That's unfortunate. We couldn't make a rank four. We couldn't get to a uh, XE. And yeah, all we could do is Machine X. All right, Battle Phase. We're gonna punch over the Gilgamesh here. Activate the effect of Hot Red. Bring back the Formula Synchron. And Gilgamesh effect triggers. We're just going to negate that. Cause why not? And we're going to gain some attack as well, I think. 48 here. Uh, no, we're going to attack and declare. That one goes up to 3,000 here. Main phase two, just going to pass. All right. Our opponent's going to draw into a call by the grave. That's not an engine card. But we do have a Swirl Slime and a Ragnarok. Abyss is going to negate and chain to Synchro. Huh? Ooh, Satellite Warrior! How many pops is this? How many pops is this? Fine, zwei, dry, fear! The whole board! Let's go! Synchrons! Actually, winning a game through Dark Ruler. Could you believe it? Uh, what the hell is this? Gauge control into Mechna? Oh my god, it's just pass, pass. They can't play! This guy needs this guy to play, but this guy can't play because this guy can't play! Neither the, no, they can't play! Oh my god, pathetic. Alright, maybe we can play whenever that we have nine cards in our hand. Surely we can do something. Alright, we're gonna go Magician Souls. What are you gonna do? Send Double Dark Hole. I was joking! What are you doing? Slumber? What is going on? Oh my god, this is... How are you guys in round seven? How did you make it to the final? Are you gonna win? Is this game? Are you actually gonna win? How did you make it to the- I, I'm so- I, I'm so disappointed. Have you used Desires? Yes, you have. Alright, World Legacy Memory. Special Summoning Shifty Boy. Uh, attempt to run away. Why? You're going to die! Oh god, it doesn't matter. Oh, <laughs> it's the worst replay I've seen all day today. <laughs> this is legitimately the worst replay I've seen all day. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, fantastic. Gentlemen, welcome to Top 16. We're checking out Mr. Uh, Mark Caesar here, who's made it through with Crystal Beast versus the Robotic Devil, who is playing Heroes, whatever that means. Gonna start with a Pot of Extravagance to draw two. We got Fury of Kairushin. That's adding Torrential Tribute from deck to the hand. Okay. I'm gonna go Rainbow Bridge and add a Spell and Trap card. It's Crystal Bond. Crystal Bond is activating to search for a Pegasus and places the Rainbow Dragon in the Spell and Trap zone, which we're gonna banish to search, or special rather, the Pegasus and add a Rainbow Dragon. Uh, oh, that's a good opening. All right, we got Rainbow Bridge, I think, or Awakening of the Crystal to add the Rainbow Bridge Continuous Spell. Yeah, then we get the extra normal summon or something, I think, right? Activate the effect, gonna go into Pegasus. Pegasus! Puts a Pegasus up. Okay, popping this Pegasus to add Crystal Conclave. I'm gonna set three and pass as we've got our Crystal set up here. All right, see what Robotic Devil's gonna do here. We're gonna start with Vision Hero Pharos. Remember, Elemental Heroes, Vision Heroes, and Neospatians are all legal, but not Destiny Heroes and something else. Destiny Hero, Mast Heroes. Yeah, Mast Heroes and Destiny Heroes are banned. Let's see what this does here. We're gonna go Vision Hero, Increase to the Tribute Fire, Special you. Summon. Five months, Joling. Thank you, Dragster. It is Torrential Tribute on the Summon of the Vision Hero, Vion. We knew he had that from the Kairu Shin. Destroying the Pegasus. New chain, I think Pegasus can put itself there. Probably not gonna do that. We're gonna activate Crystal Conclave, which Special Summons Carbuncle. Which special summons the Pegasus, which puts a Pegasus onto the thing? No? Okay. 
We got Crystal Miracle to negate and destroy Liquid Soldier. All right. And wait, this is, is this still the new chain? Oh, no. It destroys the Crystal Beast, and then this thing puts itself there, and then we negate the opponent's card effect. And then they pass turn. All right. Not able to play through Torrential and Crystal Miracle in just Elemental Heroes. We're going to go Foolish Burry Goods for the Awakening, the Rainbow Bridge Salvation. Salvation is going to add a copy of the Crystal Beast Rainbow Dragon and Duel Academy. Going to destroy the Carbuncle here with the Rainbow Bridge. Crystal Conclave activates the Special Summon Cobalt Eagle. Awakening of the Crystal reveals Rainbow Dragon. Special Summons Carbuncle. Carbuncle effect. Got a Special Summon Pegasus and Pegasus. Effect of Pegasus. Puts the Pegasus up. We're going to attack here. Battle phase. Crystal Beast Rainbow Dragon Spirit of Neos. <laughs> to protect. Oh, there. All right. Walling up with the Neos. Special summons the Crystal Beast Rainbow Dragon. We're going to activate Crystal Conclave here to send and destroy. Is that what this does? Crystal Conclave effect bounces. All right. I assume that card is once per turn. We're going to get Engage Neospatian, but will it be enough? Take 1400. Activate the effect of the Vision Hero increase in the graveyard. That doesn't do much. Our bunker for three. 18, 18. Next up, Rainbow Dragon for game. GG! Crystal Beast make it through top 16. Heroes are gone! All right. Uh, Metal Crunch playing the machine deck. And we got Pure Therions here with the plant engine just to get to Lily Boreo. Activating the effect of Lone Fire Blossom. Special summons out Lily Boreo. That is going to activate to send a Disc Coliseum. Adding Regulus. Special summoning Regulus. Don't tell me this is it. Don't tell me this is it. This is not too good. Oh boy, Regulus set to pass. Not a fantastic start, honestly. And Imperm comes down. Sends itself to the graveyard. I don't know why. I feel like I'd rather just leave it on the field. No? Activate the effect of Deployment here. Discarding uh, Derek Crane. Getting a copy of Metal Cruncher and Fortress. Special summoning our own Regulus to set up our negate here. Tripping the Derek Crane. Pitching two here. Special summoning Machina Fortress. Okay, not much of a clap back here from us either. Just gonna bonk for some damage, I suppose. Alright, draw off a turn. We're going to activate Infinite Impermanence on our opponent's Regulus. This cancels out the uh, negate effect. We're going to go Lone Fire Blossom for another Lily Boria. Lily Boria. Sending the field spell to add another field spell. Activating another field spell to get another search. This time we're going to go for Irregular. We're just going to equip everything onto this. Equipping all three Therians in the graveyard. Argus System activates. Returning the field spell to the hand. Another follow-up for next turn. Puts itself back in the deck. Battle phase. Activating the effect of the field spell. Taking 100, dumps another name here. Punches over the Regulus. Activating this field spell adds back the Duke here. And main phase two, Duke can special. Nope, we're gonna, not going to special Duke. We're just going to leave him vibing. All right, that's a good top deck. More monsters than you do. Going to crash the fortress, it looks like. Can't usually use the schedule, otherwise it gets negated. Normal summon the Metal Cruncher because our opponent controls the monster or something like that for free. Forbidna Droplet activates to negate the Metal Cruncher. Kind of just like a staple back and forth here, isn't it? Which is to special summon Fortress. Link summon into Ancient Gear Ballista. Ballista adds an Ancient Gear box who then adds any machine, I think, right? Adds Tunneler. Discards both, actually, for Fortress. All in main phase two. Cruncher brings back the Tunneler. To go into Clifford Genius. What does this do? Sends? Both have their effects negated till the end of this turn. Okay, all right. Uh, forcing out the Regulus. Wow, it took you so long to force that out, didn't it? All right, well, we got there in the end. We're going to go double Anger Knuckle, which activates the effect here to bring back. But now we control more mon less monsters than our opponent. We can finally activate this urgent schedule. And that's going to summon out Harvester and the Bullet Train. And we're going to summon Derek Crane. And now... Farfa's favorite card from Master Saga, Sky Palace Gangradal, pops the field spell, burns for a thousand. Derek Crane pops the Therion monster. Tunneler banishes to recycle five machines to draw a card? Draw two cards here. Links away into another Anger Knuckle for more resources next turn. Sets and passes. Finally, clears up everything here. End of phase. We're going to add back Regulus with the train. And now our opponent has to deal with... 
Well, not much, actually. We're going to get rid of this infinite impermanence. Just an anger knuckle vibe in here. Okay. We can clap back. We're actually interacting with our opponent? That's so cringe. What is this? Back and forth on turn five? How? Gonna activate the Therian Disc Coliseum, adding Regulus. Regulus effect going to try and uh, equipping the Yule here. Last chance to activate the, Danger, the Knuckle before it gets negated. Brings back the Bullet Train onto the field here. Special summons out the Regulus. Do you attack this and give your opponent a search in the end phase? Also gives you a return to the hand of the Irregular with the Therian Field Spell. Take 35 here, main phase two. Link both away into Sanaphon. Wow! Sanaphon prevents your opponent from adding or moving cards from the grave or something, or special summoning cards. And then we're going to equip all of these monsters onto the Irregular. End phase, we're going to activate this effect. Irregular negates. Okay, so it's just special summons from Graveyard that Sanaphon stops here. And pass it up, draw. How do we beat this? Harvester, that's a good top deck. Normal summon Harvester. Let's it resolve. Gets a Tunneler. Activating the effect of the Irregular, which can use the effect to bounce here. Deployment activates the effect here. That's going to be negated. Irregular just being able to use every single Etherion uh, monster that is equipped to it. That is crazy. And all we can do here is set up a Regulus. Not bad, I suppose. Battle phase. Punching over the Irregular. Gets to keep it by sending Argo system, however. And passes up. Oh my god, this is a grind game. All right, Argo System, returning the Therian Regulus to the hand, adding itself back into the deck, using the Therian Regulus, forcing out Regulus for Regulus. Doesn't have a choice here. Why did you send itself instead of the machine equipped to it? Please tell me that was an option. No? Your opponent just puts this into attack mode and you die. Well, I don't think it would have mattered. We probably would have found enough damage anyway. What a game! What a game! Pure Therian's taken it out, moving on to top four. Agent versus Therion. Let's check it out and see what happens. All right. Reggie will be going first with the Planet Pathfinder to search for Therion, this Colosseum. This Skull Inferno. This Skull Inferno. Regulus effect. <laughs> Equipping the... What? Are you serious? Oh, my God. No way. Regulus pass. How? How? Okay, we drew e we drew Guardian Ethos and Terras. I've never seen you act summon this card, by the way, in all of the tournament, so I don't know what that's for. Special summoning the Guardian Ethos, sinkering away with the Agent of Earth. Gonna go into Master Harf Hyperion. Sends Venus here. We're gonna negate. Ayo! What are we uh, saving Therion for? What's, uh, okay, Reggie's onto something. All right, Reggie's on to some... Okay, negating the Link monster is apparently the most important thing. But your opponent could have just forced you out with Master Flare at any point anyway. Ah, I guess that's why. Because if you banish, then you don't negate, I suppose? Anyway, we're going to go Night Lords here and activate the Agent of Neptune from the hand here, special summoning the Agent of Destruction. Please check out the artwork of... New Venus compared to old Venus, man. Looks like a freaking Elden Ring boss, doesn't she? So beautiful. Oh, there's the dark hype. Whoa, the Pluto! Woo! It's Pluto! Wait, final blow? Shine ball? Oh my god! What's with this tournament and bad finals? I don't know. <laughs> the finals are just... Yep, pass. Well, I'm sure you're wondering what top this week and wow, it is an incredible format, the LCS. Every single week, there appears to be literally for all of top 16 or top eight, an entirely new archetype or unique deck being played. This time around, we have an exact breakdown of 16 different decks. We've got ABC Therion, Agents, Crystal Beast, DDD, Endymion, Hero, Infinitrack, Magispect, Pendulum, Numeron, PK, Raid Raptor, Lunalite, Reptilian, Ogdodic, Scrap Machine Therion, Pure Therion, Trap Tricks, Ultimate Athlete, and 60 card Light Sworn, Zombie Sworn thing. So, so what we're going to do is we're going to ban a couple of cards. And as you imagine, uh, you probably want to know what's going on next week. Well, we've obviously, all of the obvious archetypes here will be banned. But 
further than that, there's going to be a couple of more bands as well. That being the extra deck card of choice will be IP Mascarena. The floodgate of choice will be Abyss Dweller. And yes, you know, you might be thinking, that's kind of cheating that you're just using Dweller as a floodgate. That's just two extra deck cards. Well, Abyss Dweller, I'm not mad about it going, so cry about it. It's my tournament. The new hand trap is Infinite Impermanence. And the new staple card that is going to be banned will be Forbidden Droplet. All right, everyone. I hope you had a great time watching this video. I thought it was an absolute blast and one of the best tournaments we've had so far. I mean, they've all been great so far, honestly. But tune in next week and I'll see you guys then for LCS number four. If you want to take part, remember all Patreon and Twitch subscribers can join. Join the Discord, discord.gg forward slash for more information.